All right, before we get into today's episode, because I still have some time to get to game days, I want to wrap up the transfer window for you guys. We made uh, one more move. We, uh, We made an acquisition of a player, and we traded... Uh, and I haven't done this before. I think this is a first. I don't even recall it being an option before FM21. But the t- club that we were trading with, Cambor, wanted a player in exchange in addition to money. So we sold one of our young players, uh, Roshan Youngsma, or Youngsma. Not a bad looking player, but he plays wing back. I don't play with wing backs. I did last match, I know, but I think that's the first time in ever, maybe. Uh, but uh, he was pretty good, but he had a two star potential. And, you know, by my scouts, and I said, yeah, we can throw him into the mix. Uh, we bring in from uh, River in, South, in uh, Argentina. Is that right? We bring him in on loan. Yes, Argentinian. Uh, he is a striker. Uh, actually, DeVries and a couple of other players, including our captain, said that they felt we were a little weak uh, up top. So I said, all right, we'll, we'll see about bringing in an, another striker or two and you know, making some competition up there. This guy is, uh, is a lone player, only through the end of the year, 20 years old. He'll be a reserve. Uh, not the fastest player, but he's got really good finishing. So he could be a difference maker. And then the other player is Christian Souk from Cambour. Uh, we paid four seventy five plus the player exchange. What I like about this guy, he could be an inverted winger on the right side. He's got decent crossing, dribbling, passing. So I like his skill set. I'm thinking ahead to next year with this player, uh, possibly being a replacement for Quasi if I can't get him to sign. And the other thing is, he can also be some depth up top, uh, dribbling, first touch, finishing, pace, acceleration, and definitely adds another player into the mix up top, especially if we have an injury, because outside of DeVries, it was kind of a drop off there, so... You know, that's that's what's going on. We have made uh, money the last two months uh, after selling players in January. So we are actually back into the black for the season with $85 profit. Uh, well, that's this month. This season, we're at $3.1 million. And uh, so doing pretty good. And that has seen our money tick up just a little bit. We are still about 200 and... 45,000 below payroll and transfer budget has actually gone up to 3.8. So we did sign the one player for 3.4. That was a big signing for us in this window. So we just have a lot of money left over. But anyway, let me get to the matches and then we'll catch you guys up. We'll look at the highlights and play the match for today. See you guys in a minute. So we played Souk in his debut. Wanted to show you guys the results here. So Merrick lays it off to Slot Boom, crosses it to Chassain. He drops it in. Soup drops back into space and puts the left peg on it and slots it home. And there's his debut goal for the club. We conceded a goal there. That equalized in the 92nd minute. Time running out. Shed a hole. Brings it up. Finds Souk, and he turns on it. And that was one hell of a goal, 30 yards out. That's got to be maybe goal of the year competitor there. That was interesting. So wanted to show you his debut. He gets a brace in his first match for the club. And I'm not sure how much uh, Stratoslav is going to like that. All right, we're back for the highlights of Ajax. This was not a good match for us. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and raise the match speed. Big through ball. Beat our man and just easy goal at the near post for Indelku. That put Ajax up 1-0. Similar play. Put it through. Chassain got beat and again bounces it into the goal. 2-0 advantage. I'm not even sure they're going to show our goal. They do. Chassain puts one top bends with some pace, 
2-1 on the penalty just a minute after the half, and that's all we were able to get. We managed 11 shots, but they were by far the better team. Taking a look at the schedule here, we've actually gotten into some good form uh, since the uh, the debut from uh, Christian Souk with the uh, debut brace against Breda. But we had a 1-0 win over Venlo, 2-1 over Breda. Got beaten by Heravine 4-1, and then we beat Telstar 5-1. FC 20, we surprised 2-1, and a clean sheet against Eindhoven 3-0 before the 2-1 loss. So, you know, we won five out of six. That was pretty solid, and that still got us hanging in in seventh position. 40 points and a plus five goal differential. 11 points off of European qualifying, but 19 points clear of relegation so that's the important news again not expecting a whole lot this year we were supposed to fight bravely against relegation i think we're doing that but let's get back for the match here against uh, psv in just a second all right so we are back we're playing top of the table psv and uh yeah this could get ugly i hope it's not as ugly as that ix game last season but it could be we're having to put Sayud, our deputy keeper, in goal due to an injury. Uh, taking a look, uh, Marco Mar um, Marco Merrick, he is out for the season uh, with a broken lower leg. That happened against Breda back on February 1st. Forgot to tell you guys about it. Uh, let's see, injured. Boucher's injured. He's just coming back. Uh, Mitchell Quasi is injured, and he's coming back tomorrow. Banachek is out three to four weeks from a hernia uh, about a week ago, and Aminik is uh, suffering a virus. He'll, he'll be out about two weeks, so we'll have to make do without our starting keeper. Fingers crossed, I guess. That's all we can hope for. And, of course, he's our captain as well. PSV's won four of their last five. And, of course, we lost our last match, but we had a couple of wins there ahead of that. We're in the green today. It's odd seeing us wear that kit. That's not a kit we wear very often. Nemeth with a cross. Oh, no, come on. There were some big shots there. We did have with uh, that recent signing, oh, that's not good. This could be bad. <laughs> with the recent signing at left back that we had, uh, the uh, the lone player, um, Dira, uh, he got recalled. His, uh, his manager was not happy. So called, recalled him from loan. And he was like, well, I'm not happy with the playing time. And I'm like, he's missed like three games. Oh, that one just went high. But, you know, he had played most of the season since he came on board. I, I don't understand uh, what, what the issue was, but oh well. He was definitely not going to be our starter. Diallo, we ended up resting him for a week. He played international and played just about every minute of every match. And then, of course, he gets back. I'm scared to look. That's the cat. He gets back from international duty, and it's like, oh, he's jaded and needs to rest. Maybe he shouldn't have gone on international duty because we're the one paying him. Just something to think about. That was ugly. And we find ourselves down 1-0. We come right back to a kickoff highlight. Oh, there it is. And Souk, his 10th of the season, into the back of the net. And he's not our starter. The game is wanting to put um, the other guy that we signed. Um, and he's not bad, but he's a lone player. So, Souk makes a great run. And that's number 10. You gotta like that. We need to check. I don't, I don't, I don't think he scored all 10 since joining us. There's no way. He hasn't been around that long. 
A little flick on header. Too much route one passing there. I, I'm not. Oh, that was not good. Diallo. Oh, and Sayu just gets beaten. Schoenbrood with his 25th of the season. Yeah, that was a bad pass by Diallo that led to that, but boy, boy. <sighs> Sayud, I, I had hopes for to be a decent deputy, but he is not looking good. You know, we are judging him, in, you know, he hasn't played in, you know, a, in a while. Opdam gets beaten. Jeez. Schoenbrew just blew past our entire defense. Not sure what he was trying to do there. And there's a foul by Numba. No card. And there's some hands by Sayud. Nice to see that. Let's encourage the team. They're playing three at the back. Oh, that one goes wide. That had some bend on it. That was a little scary for us. Like I said, I'm not expecting to win this game. I know we're going to be, you know, mid-table's about as good as we can expect, I think. So, not, you know, not horrible. You guys say, certainly can't, you know, complain that I win every match. So, <laughs> I know I've, I've evidently uh, I've seen some trolls on other people's channels. Oh, you must play replay all of the uh all of your matches to win everything and there are you know there's a few guys <laughs> bless me oh my goodness um i know there you know there's a few guys that i watch that you know they win a lot of games but they're pretty good too you know i mean they don't call uh, they don't call lelugio kevy five time for nothing you know He obviously knows the game and knows how to knows how to game it and uh I don't know how to do that. Well, offsides, I believe. Not called, so we'll take the goal kick. Let's demand more here from him. Whoa. That's a blistering pass back to the keeper. Uh, I want to pop into tactics for just a second. Let's uh, let's go shorter passing. I like that. See if we can alleviate some of these miss miss strikes. That goes into the side netting. And another set piece. Oh my gosh. I thought that went out of bounds. Evidently, it. I don't know if there was a save, if it hit the woodwork. We'll see it from this angle. I think it hit the woodwork. Well, it says he made a good save. So he got over, but you know we couldn't get the rebound cleared. That one goes pretty wide. Let's go ahead and make a couple of subs here. Uh, Van Zest. Let's bring on Stretzlov out there, and then we'll swap him with Souk. That'll be one move. Slot boom. Yeah, let's bring Rainiers on there. We'll get a couple of yellow cards off as well as a couple of guys struggling a little bit today. I axe up 4 nil on Villem 2. Let's demand more again. All right. Marisic, that's the uh, one of the new guys that we signed here in the window.
Diallo took a couple of pot shots there. Ten shots, only two on target. They've got seven of 17. Uh, you know what? Let's pull Diallo off and bring on Vandermeulen. Get some fresh legs there in the middle of the field. There's a good clearance. Stretzlov couldn't get there. And he, the keeper kicks it right to a player on the other team. Frustrating. Frustrating. Four minutes of stoppage time. Well, I apologize for the grandbaby. She must be hungry. Come on, boys. Souk plays it out to Nemeth. That was not a good pass. And Makamba cuts off that, uh, that cross. Full time. Not too good. Not too good. Demotivated. All right, that was the wrong team talk, I guess. All right, well, we'll call it there. Where are we at in regards to the season? I think we come back now just for the season end. Uh, highlights against Groningen, Willem 2 for the season finale. And we'll put this one into the record books and move on to next season. I think we're, we're okay right now to say we're going to stay up. Not, not secured yet, but... Still, 19 points with 21 to play. We could be safe after our match against Fortuna, potentially. But I think we'll be all right. So we'll come back. One more episode for this season. Guys, hit the like button, subscribe, and all that other good stuff. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time. Bye.